These are some of the craziest encounters police have faced in 2023. Take, take a deep breath in, pull out tight, tight, stop. It might be. He might be right here. Get ready for a thrilling countdown starting from four. But hold on, because the top one will leave you on the edge of your seat. Police finding out just how much ham he consumes. Number four, a man asking for protection from his girlfriend. Okay. That she's been punching me in the face or something, but ain't nobody been doing nothing about it. The incident happened in Greene County, Missouri, when police received a call for domestic violence from this man. At first, the sheriff considered it a prank call, but upon reaching the location, they were astonished by what they found. Okay. I'm not punching you yet. She's lying. I poked you. She been, she been assaulted. I poked him. All right, man. According to this woman, she hadn't physically harmed her boyfriend. Instead, she had playfully poked him while he was asleep. Did you poke him with your finger? Yeah. Okay. How many times did you poke him? About three or four. Three or four. Why, why'd you poke him? Because I'm mad at him. So you're mad at him, so you poked him? Yeah. Okay. What are you mad at him about? Because he's an idiot. However, the boyfriend's statement painted a more dramatic picture of the events. Where'd she hit you today? In the, in the head. Where at? Like a specific area? In, in your nose? Yeah, I was laying on the bed, and she was like, Where's my, where's the fucking liner? Help me find liner. And reached back and cocked me. Okay. So I had to defend myself. I, I snapped. Okay. Man, how strong is she? The situation took a humorous turn when other officers decided to test the woman's level of intoxication. Do you have anything in your mouth? Uh, my tongue. Well, other than your tongue, do you have anything in your mouth? Watch how she throws another joke that leaves the officer smiling. Deep breath in like this. <sighs> till I tell you to stop, okay? Right. Deep breath in. I suck, I don't blow. <laughs> take, take a deep breath in. What the officers didn't realize was that her level of intoxication was about to set a record in the Guinness World Records. Deep breath in and blow up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, ma'am. But you have a light. Ma'am, you just <laughs> you just blew a three one two. Oh, uh, what's that? That means you're <laughs> really okay. really drunk. Even the officer in the background was surprised by the results. Surprisingly, despite all of this happening, the woman then asked the police for a lighter to smoke and clarified her results. Okay, ma'am. But you have a light. I'm just checking, so I didn't uh, see. I'm not driving. So. Okay. Now, if this woman seems high to you, then how about this cowboy neighbor at number three? This incident happened in Rhode Island when a neighbor launched a complaint against this extremely intoxicated man who was hurling abusive language outside his house. However, when the police responded to identify the individual, it turned out to be the same person who had been causing disturbances in the neighborhood for over a year, even with existing no trespass orders against him. Uh, this is an ongoing issue. It's been going on for probably a year and a half. And this time, the police have had enough. This guy over here, yeah, he's been, uh, I've, I've got, um, I've got uh, a couple of complaints in the last couple of years. I've got, uh, I've got a no trespass on him. He just pulled up loaded or something in his right. car. And he's out here screaming. What's happening? No, this kid over here. Okay. He, this... broke, hey, listen, he broke up two families. Okay. That's fine. Cop calling a home wrecking piece of Okay. We broke up two families. That's fine. What's going on with you today? Oh, nothing. I just got home from work. I worked a long day. Yeah. Despite issuing a final warning. Okay, so you went over there. So fire. hang on. Oh, so if we come back here again, because you're yelling out, out the window, you're yelling oh, from your driveway, oh, let, let me explain. Room, you're going to go to jail tonight. Do you understand? The cowboy neighbor was still not willing to give up his disruptive behavior. I'm a cowboy, baby. Steve, why don't you take it inside, bud? Damn, All right. Go, Good. Man, this guy certainly has the courage to deal with a neighbor like that. But can you deal with number two? When a SWAT team made one of the biggest mistakes of their lives. Now, the SWAT team's responsible for catching criminals that are highly dangerous for the society. And before storming anyone's house, they make sure they have every single detail of the criminal. Guys, we're going to be running a narcotics warrant to date. Our intel states no children, no elderly. As you can see, the entire team was well informed about their next target, even cheering as they prepared for the operation, creating a scene similar to Hollywood. One, two, three, three. Also, they carefully counted the house they were about to breach. 
There's a stone house right there. It's a curb. It's a curb. Hold on. But then. Yeah, kids, to everyone's surprise, they mistakenly raided the home of an innocent family. The situation became more complicated when the family members couldn't communicate in English. Are you speaking English, ma'am? I said you know no English. An officer had to call in another team member to translate into their language. We're connected to this side. Okay. We want to make sure this family's okay, and so I'm having that attended to now. Okay, man, you smoked the soul out of the entire family, breaking down doors and throwing bombs as if it were a toy. The team should consider themselves lucky that Grandma didn't suffer a heart attack. And the worst part is, is that they took the only kid to safety who knew how to speak English and Spanish at the same time. Are you Jonathan? Okay. Your mom's in there. I'm learning class. You speak English? Okay. Spanish. And Spanish. Oh, you're smart. Man, this incident stands out as one of the funniest and scariest SWAT encounters we've seen till now. This reminds us of the scene from the Pink Panther movie. The Black Panthers! The password! What is the password? I'm by now. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Last but not least, number one, the devil next door. I just, is that know, the devil? It might be. <laughs> he might be right here. You never know. <laughs> Florida's well known for its breathtaking beach resorts, Walt Disney and shiny climate. However, despite welcoming 137 million tourists with smiles in 2022, the police had no idea they were about to encounter something devilish in their own neighborhood. The incident happened in Pasco County, Florida, when the sheriff received an emergency call for a domestic dispute involving a guy named Allen. Sheriff's office! At first, Alan got annoyed from seeing the officers at his door. No, I don't need no check the computer. You're not even supposed to be here. Says who? What are you here for? I'm trying to eat dinner. Because we got you a got a warrant? Because we got Can a I shut the door in your face? Does anybody here. else live here? That's it. You want to check it out? You want to see <laughs> grams in the back, homeboy? But when they ran his name through their system, they could not find anything about him. What's your name, man? Baby, you know who I am. I don't, I've never met you before. I own this house. Okay. You own this house? Pick it up, 3480. Okay. Now, to better understand the situation, the police decided to call the other guy outside and ask him a few questions. And what he says next will blow your mind. And get away from uh, Who's this guy? This guy is my tenant, Alec. Yeah, Alec, you come out here and talk to me for a minute, man? Yeah. Every night, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm tired of He said, I'm going to stab you, I'm going to kill you. He said that tonight? What? Every time, the guy smokes that spike. He smashes, uh, like, brown glass in the puck. Mm -hmm. That's diamonds. It's diamonds? That's what he calls it. When the officers went inside the house, they were baffled to see its condition. Even the sheriff was afraid to investigate the entire place. Going all the way up his graves and dead you got, a, you got a lot of mold in oh, here, man. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah? You're gonna get sick. Look at my head, it's on the whole. Man. See this? I know, it's that. Yeah, be careful, yeah. You're gonna fill it right through that thing. You got a few bullet holes here. Uh oh. You know, I'm not from tonight. I'm from a, I'm from the Who um, shot up the house? Over here, I don't know, some, a few people died in here. A couple people died in here? Adding to the intrigue, Alan attempted to intimidate the police by warning them about the place they were standing. I know where you're standing at. Pay attention where you're standing. Yeah? I don't know, look on the floor. Yeah? What's on the floor? A pentagram is standing there. Look over there. <laughs> All right. You cool. have to be careful when you stand there. What's, it, what's that going to do? How the well, makes you go know. crazy when you leave? <laughs> Now, you might wonder if he was under the influence of smoking, but take a look at the massive amount of ham he was consuming. I hope that's low-sodium ham. That's a, that's a lot of ham to be eating. I don't know if I'm going to check the wrapper. Yeah, I probably should. 
That's around 500 grams of ham, which equals to 91 grams of protein and 810 calories in one time. That's a lot of protein for a man like him. And when the sheriff questioned about seeing the picture of the devil on the wall... I just, you know, the devil? It might be. <laughs> he might be right here. So, what are your views about these crazy encounters? Tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the like button if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching.